Hello, my lovely YouTubers. So in this video, I am really, really, can you guess the word? Excited. We'll be doing a very, very lovely unboxing today. This is the order from Sunset Valley Orchids that I had corrected. If you guys watched my last video about Sunset Valley Orchids, you know that Fred made a little boo-boo, but it's okay because Fred is awesome and he quickly replaced the plants that I didn't get. I definitely hit myself in the face with a box, which is okay because this is not working for me today. Look at that. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. I used these new makeup wipes, which is a huge mistake because my skin is just... My skin does not like it when I use new products or any products for that matter. Once I find a brand that works for my skin, I just stick with it because I know that I'll never find something that works again. I decided to go out of the box and use different makeup wipes and this is what I get. This is how my skin repays me. It's like, no, you suck, so I'm going to reward you. And my hair's not working today, which whenever I have a hair issue, I just say screw it and I put it back and I don't even worry about it. This is not working today, but I put it on camera anyways. That's, yeah. So we're going to be doing an unboxing and I am really, really impressed. Well, I've always been impressed with Sunset Valley Orchids, you guys know. Especially in my last video, I had nothing but good things to say about them. I was disappointed, but anybody would be disappointed if they were expecting plants and they didn't get them. But I am very, very impressed regardless with Sunset Valley Orchids. And it doesn't mean I'm never going to order from them because they made a mistake on one order. No, they have freaking awesome plants and they always perform outstandingly. I have plants from Sunset Valley Orchids that are outperforming any of my other plants. Quality. That's what I go to first. That's why I go to Sunset Valley Orchids for quality. Um, just all of their plants are exceptional and Fred takes his breeding very, very seriously. And those are the kind of vendors that I want to support. Those that take their breeding seriously. So that's why I am very pleased that I get some more Sunset Valley Orchid plants because I know that they're going to be exceptional. And I know that you guys get a little nervous when I wield around knives, so <laughs> got a butter knife. There's no way I could possibly... There's no way I'll... I could possibly hurt myself with a butter knife. I will say that, but we're not going to hurt myself with this butter knife, if that makes sense, which... Probably doesn't. I should probably do away from my body. That's the issue. Wow, that was probably really loud. Butter knife, butter knife. Why can't this, they call it a jam or a jelly knife? Why does it have to be butter? I mean, you cut, you use this for jams and jellies, right? Peanut butter? Well, I guess that would be butter? No? I don't know. I'm really excited! I'm gonna start calling it a jelly knife. And then maybe it'll catch on. Yes! Yes, I'm so excited. Box is open. See what we got here. Yay! <laughs> yes, this was what I ordered. So excited. And Fred was awesome when I talked to him on the phone. He even joined our Facebook group, which I was completely shocked. I wasn't expecting him to join our little Facebook group, but he did. And so maybe it's because he wants to see, well, I know why he joined. One of our members told him about our group and I'm pretty sure he joined because he wants to see, maybe, maybe he wants to see how each of the project plants is going to bloom. There's still time to join the project if you guys want to do the project. I think that he has more 
of the project plants left. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really sure. This is much bigger of a project than I was ever expecting to do and I'm so excited because that means that we will get to see all, almost all of the siblings from this group that Fred bred. Hey, that rhymes, Fred bred. So it's, it's just really cool because, I mean, whenever you buy a plant, you don't know what the off other siblings are going to look like. You know what yours looks like, but you don't know what the siblings are going to look like. So this is a really good way for us to compare all of our blooms to see the different progeny perform. <laughs> that sounded really good. This is my sick modis. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. It, I'm pretty sure anyways, don't quote me on that. This is Mormodia Lime Tiger, clonal name SVO by, what is this, Cycnodes Emerald Swans SVO. So you can see who dominates the catacetum breeding world because everything has the clonal name SVO in it. So there is my little baby. Oh, it's so cute. I'm excited to see these bloom. And Fred was so kind whenever he was talking to me on the phone, he actually gave me two of these for mistakenly um, not giving me the correct order. So this is the same thing. This is Sigmodi's Lime Tiger. Oops, Sigmodi's Lime Tiger by, or Mo Mormodia Lime Tiger by Sigmodi's Emerald Swan. I am so excited to see these guys bloom. Super, super healthy, as you guys can see. Really, really healthy plants. And they're both about the same size. They're both about the same size, so I'm expecting them to bloom, you know, probably within a month of each other, maybe within a couple weeks of each other, because they are the same size. And then finally, the project plant that was missing from my order. Here is the project plant. Yay! <laughs> I finally got the second one and it looks really, really good. No sheath on it, but that's okay. Um, I'm just really, really excited to have this little guy because he's so cute. This is the project plant. If you didn't watch my last video, this is the Catlia Leo Lottie Glossa Var Cerulea SVO. So Cerulea tells me that it's going to be blue-ish. And then Leo Lottie Glossa is capitalized, so that is a hybrid. And then it's crossed with Catlia Bicolor, which you can't read the bicolor part. But Catlia Bicolor is a species, and it is also Cerulea. So hopefully... Fingers crossed, this will be a lovely spotted blue Cattleya. Um, looks super, super healthy. As you can see, the, bent, the growth is a little bent, but that's okay. It was in a smaller than normal box. So we shall see what this one looks like when it blooms and compare. If you guys aren't a part of the Facebook group, I will put a link down below so that you guys can join the group. It's an awesome group of people. Everyone feels safe to comment and ask questions, and that's the part that I love the most because some Facebook groups, you really feel intimidated to ask questions because you feel everyone is so much more advanced than you are, and I just like the whole feel of our Facebook group. It's nice and comfortable, and everybody gets along, and it's just a really awesome experience. And if you like orchids and you're addicted to them like the rest of us are in that group, then go ahead and join and we will see you over there. Hopefully you'll post pictures of your plants and hopefully we will have some project plant pictures to show you guys in a few months. Um, I know that a couple members got plants in sheath, so should be not very long until blooms appear on the Facebook group. So you, even if you aren't a part of the Facebook project, that we're doing, you can see the blooms. We'll have many, many, many blooms. Many blooms! I can't believe how many people joined the project. I just, it's, it's crazy to me. And yeah, it's awesome. I think it's just amazing. 
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go and order from S, uh, I keep saying SVO, I always use the abbreviation, um, but SVO is Sunset Valley Orchids. Go and order from them. They are so freaking awesome, and Fred does amazing work with breeding. I hope I'm lucky enough one day to be able to go out there and actually visit his greenhouse uh, because I feel like it would be amazing and <laughs> I would never leave. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Many ways to get a hold of me. You can also subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And that way you'll get more videos like this one in the future. And if not, you know, you're lost. But I hope to see you guys again. Love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys later.